You said you would meet me yesterday. What? You, you didn't show up? You're with some girl? No, I've got the car and I'm leaving. I've had it. No! No, I'm not coming back. I had had a later caffeine hit than usual, and suffering a kind of nearsighted ennui, I went out for a late night Ben's ride. As far as I can remember as I sit here in front of my clattering QWERTY board, these are the words I had said earlier tonight. I'm heading somewhere, but I don't know where. What? I'm heading somewhere, but I don't know where. Just cruising my town, waiting for a telepathic signal that says, here, Dean, come here. It's 1 a.m. and I'm waiting for the message. And then I'll go there. I'll gravitate there. Pretty weird, you say, driving around at 1 a.m. waiting for a telepathic direction. But a cruise like this is not really so weird. We human beings are attracted towards certain energy sources, repelled from others, even as atoms and their subatomic constituents have been given descriptors like charm, gefaltic, or cringe, so do we have characteristics that, when we properly identify them, will help us discover the nature of the mass, the energy, the intellect, the spirit, or the class that draws us to their cores. This seems to imply that we are drawn to like beings. But the science surrounding any thinking about gravity, magnetism, or electromagnetic attraction and repulsion insists that like polarities repel. And the flash between the opposite poles of a pair of terminals on fully charged batteries suggests that the heat, light, and crackle that accompanies that connection makes a fiery, if not violent, contact. North attracts south. Ask any lodestone. Somewhere on Groat Road before I decide what to do at the bridge intersection. One way is downtown, the other is up. It occurs to me that we gravitate toward the perfect attractor, the one that's just right for our perceived personality, whether it's harmonic or dissonant or downright deadly. And so here we are, seeming comfortable in this space of choice. But where in the world would we rather be? There's the challenge. Finding that core of densities, energies, talents, intellects, lightnesses, spiritualities, barely imaginable aspects, senses of humor, nearly unnameable environments. But let's try to visualize the physical space. Got that? Now, populate it. Imagine people there. Remember, this population is a creation of that same imagination you used a few minutes ago when you examined the salient features of your own character. Is the pull caused by like forces ironically attracting or unlike forces challenging? What deviates us from our quest? If nothing, then we've arrived. The search is over. We've been drawn and there we are, held nearly metaphysically to the energy core we find ourselves adhering to. And if anything deflected our path, it's time we willed ourselves toward that other sphere of influence, that larger, deeper attraction. Gravitate. We must gravitate.